Hello everyone, this is Razor Flamecoon, and in this episode of the Oblivion Let's Play, we are going to be continuing to try and find the um, Ebony Helmet. However, in the, I did say that we were going to do the Ebony Helmet hunt in this episode. However, after, after thinking it through, I actually decided that we are going to continue doing map markers. Hunting map markers. So, let's see. We're, we've pretty much already saturated this area pretty well. So, what I'm actually going to do is... Wow, we have nothing above um, Bleak Flats Cave. So we're going to go uh, fast travel to Bleak Flats Cave. And we are going to do more map marker hunting. I already did two videos on uh, map, mark, map marker hunting. But I definitely do need to do more because of the fact that... Ah, uh, there's lots of things left to find, including another random oblivion. Two random oblivion gates. Holy crap. Talk about really uh, bad luck. Because if I, I, if I go to that one, this one will despawn, I'm pretty sure. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to this one first, and then I'm going to head straight back. Actually, I'm going to take a little detour away from that one and I'm gonna head over here because this is another Rimon runestone which I want to use so I can get the Daedra Claymore back as you can see it casts spells so you get the Daedra Claymore and Daedra Quiras, which we're gonna be getting both uh, fairly soon so not to worry, but we found this gate to oblivion. I'm actually not going to engage any of the enemies there. What I'm actually going to do is run the exact opposite way. Back to the bleak flat caves. And I'm pretty sure... Nope, it's still there. Perfect, so I can get both of them. That was my hope and goal, was that I would be able to get both of them. In one... Jet with using just just being able to do that uh, with just one which is perfect because I am able to do it with just um, I don't have to no, I w don't have to lose that one up there as well so as you can see I'm still finding these random oblivion gates even though I've already found quite a few of them and that's another reason why I wanted to do more random gates uh, more um, map marker hunting, rather not random gate, but map marker hunting. And as you as you may have noticed, I've been gathering ingredients along the way. It's just normal for one to do so, I think. Um, something is attacking me. A white skin goblin skirmisher with and clan fears. So pretty. Stop getting in my way, you stupid. There we go. Okay, now I think these are the guys that drop... Yes, they are. They're the guys that drop a lot of arrows. So, definitely, definitely, definitely take care of these guys. Or not, not take care of them, but loot them. And I went ahead and... Ooh, crap. I got... I went into the fire there bad idea because you'll get that burn effect on you the white goblin skirmishers actually carry a lot of arrows as you just saw and they are actually from down here goblin jim's cave which is another map marker we need to get there's a lot of there's a lot of map markers in this game just telling you anyways since we got that one um we're just gonna go off this way and hopefully find more map markers or something along those lines. Um, I'm pretty sure there's some more map markers down this way that we can get. Oh, actually, we're going south, not north. Kind of, kind of wanted to go north, not south, because there's more of a chance of finding stuff to the north than the south, because the south is pretty much the city. So best to go north. Because if we went south, then we would hit the city and we wouldn't find anything new. So we're going to head a little northeast now. 
And there's a nearby enemy, apparently. Or enemies. Could be multiple enemies, but I... For some reason, I doubt that it's multiple enemies. Ah, there we go. Now we can wait. I want to wait nine hours until it is 8 a.m. We lost the armor enchantment that we had, which isn't that big of a deal. As always, I like to travel by day because it's easier to... It's just basically easier to travel at day, and there's apparently enemies nearby. Again. Okay. These... These little mark, markings on the compass down in the middle, bo bo bottom middle of the screen, these indicate landmarks. Or, uh, yeah, just, imp yeah, I think landmark is the appropriate word to use for them. That pretty much, you want to go and check out all, um, get these landmarks. I think I know what this is. This is... Shade Leaf Cops. Okay, this um, th this area right here has a very high concentration of Nern Roots. There are a lot of Nern Roots around here. There's like, I think four or five. Um, but I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and save, even though I try not to save during um, the record actual recordings. But I'm gonna save right now just because I can and I really want to. There's one of them. Another one's over here. This is the this is actually the area that um the guy uh, Cinderion actually recommends you come recommends you uh recommends you to come here to find lots of the to find lots of Nern roots. I actually now that I think about it, I think there's only three. Although I could be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure it's only three now. Whoa. Oh, and there's something behind me. It's a troll, which we haven't seen in a while. Bah. Trolls are usually between level 10 and level 15 or something like that. You won't find them... Um, you'll find different versions of them later on uh, at once you're a higher level. So just be warned that you may find them at higher levels. Uh, different kinds of them, by the way. Um, one thing that we do need, I do want to look around to make sure that I got all of the Nern roots, because as I said, there's a, a bunch of them in this short area, so just travel a little bit away from the water. Like, I think this is far enough. And you might find another Nern root just hiding out. But I think there was only th those three in this area. So, with that said, we are actually going to head off again in search of more map markers. Um, one thing I'm going to have to re uh, remind myself to do, which I'm going to do right now, is I'm going to have to remind myself to change the number of videos in the map marker hunt series of videos that I've done from two up to three or maybe four I don't know it depends on how long I decide to do this for I'm probably not gonna do this for very much longer pretty much the only reason why I'm doing this is to get map markers so that I don't have to go travel on foot in a later episode to try and find them when I need to get something done quickly in that episode. So I could do this behind the scenes, but I just th I just think where's where's the fun in doing it behind the scenes when you, when it's pretty interesting what ha actually happens. I mean, give me your take. Uh, if you would like to see me um, do more videos of this series, then um, let me know in the comments below. And that rhymed. Uh, if not, then let me know that you don't want me to do this uh, on camera, and I won't do it on camera any longer. Anyways, we found another map marker, which is the Brindle home, which I believe is... Uh, no, we don't want to break into his place, but we can raid his little barrels here for stuff, usually. 
Uh, and there's also usually, a, I think there's quite a few ingredients around this house too, if I'm not mistaken. But that's not really too important right now. Already considering that um, the only reason why I would need to gather ingredients is for the purpose of making money. And since I don't really need to make too much money, uh, I will if I want to buy if I want to like buy all the houses and stuff. And wow, legs lagging there, but it's gone already. We can get hay bales here, and let's Go see. Go ahead, please. Watch yourself around goblins. Some of the nastier ones will. Interesting rumor there, okay. Astante. Thank you for that. Up oh, there's. Garlic clove there too. I bl I'm pretty sure that there is a quest a around here, but I'm that I don't want to partake in right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and continue the map marker hunt. One thing I'm going to do right after I go ahead and go here and get this smallest frond and take care ah. of this timber wolf is save. Um, this game is bug, uh, it's not bug, um, it's crash prone. It sometimes crashes for no apparent reason. So I recommend you save every 10 or so minutes, depending upon um, how stable your version is. If, if your version has a history of crashing more frequently than that, then save every five to seven minutes or something like that. My version doesn't crash very much any longer. It crashes once every, I'd say, th uh, tr I don't play this game as often as I used to, but when I'm recording, it's only, I've only had a crash on me while I was recording, I think twice, and both times, were because I was running some other program in the background and that was what screwed me up that time but I don't have any back uh, programs running in the background so everything's good and nothing will cause us to lose our progress here but I still want to save just to make sure but over here we can find more goblins. We start finding these goblin berserkers around level 16, 17, something like that. They are ver they are armored goblins pretty much. They oftentimes don't drop anything. And you also start finding goblin shamans, which are also hard pretty hard versions and can cast some pretty nasty spells on you, so you want to watch out for those spells as well. And they can also summon creatures to fight against you. So they're pretty annoying. Uh, they also have a pretty decent chance of dropping some good equipment. Um, good stuff as well, I think. Um, in terms of like magic stuff. But what was that? that we Redguard Valley Cave. So we got another cave added to our map marker. Uh, our map, not our map marker. That's what we're using to map, uh, mark them. <sighs> That's what we're using to mark the map. My god, I'm, I'm having trouble speaking now. Down here we can get the map marker for Ellen Glynn, which is going to be very useful for a mod that we're going to be finding out about late, later on after we've had the Daedric armor for about five levels or so. Then I'm going to start shifting into the modded armors. So just to give you guys a head up, heads up on the armor mods that I am going to be showing off. There are going to be armor mods shown off. Um, and I won't be showing them off until I've gotten, I've ha gotten the, all, the full um, set of Daedric armor and have had it for at least 5 levels. Or 15 videos, whichever passes um, first. After that point, I will start to work on the actual modded armors. Most of the reason, the reason for this is because most of the modded armors are actually fair, require you to be a fairly high level in order to get because they put them on 
boss monsters that are really high level and have high stats. So you want to watch. Um, that's the reason why I'm not doing that. I, I'm not doing them. Be it's pretty much because I can't do them right now. I pretty much have to wait until I'm uh, around level 25 and have the full Daedric armor set and Daedric longsword that's enchanted with a pretty good enchantment before I can go ahead and think of even think of getting the armor sets but anyways uh, as you notice I have been gathering quite a lot of ingredients this episode that's not my that isn't my main purpose I the only purpose I'm mainly doing this because of the fact that it's they're there pretty much and that's why I want to go ahead and pick them up because they're there and what better time than the present I I always say but there's a bunch of I mean this area around Weatherlay which is the home we just discovered it's abandoned by the way but um, it has a lot of ingredients, including a lot of these Viper um, Burgosses or so something like that. I think they're called something like that. But there's a lot of them around this area of the map. And as you can see, we're actually going to be going into a different area of the map up this way. And it looks like this wolf has seen me, so we're going to have to fight the wolf. Not that hard. Um... I'm going to go ahead and save again because to spend another couple, spend another five or so minutes. Um, don't worry about uh, about the save file, like uh, how lo how big they are because um, unless you, your game time, uh, accumulated game time is like a couple hundred hours, then that's when you start to get into problems with having lots of save files because of the fact that they are something like 50 to 60 megabytes each. Um, but for our file, it's not, our file isn't that large yet. We've, we've only been doing this LP for 22 hours and 50 minutes, so we're good for now. Uh, I seem to be going west. <laughs> My god, I, I kind of want to go north back into the forest because that's where all of the really good uh, batches of ingredients have been, but we're actually transitioning into a new part of the forest, w which does not have as many ingredients as the former part that we were in, but it has a lot more logs, so uh, we can get a bunch more of the ingredients from the logs in this part of the area. Looks like there's another... Alien ruin over there that we're gonna go and get right after we go down this way because I think I remember there being a log right over here somewhere nope guess not but we have another wolf on our tail so we just take care of the wolf and then move on which where is it um okay never mind uh, looks like we're gonna be heading this way because there is another Elliot ruin this way and I kind of want to get that uh, mapped on our map, um, that map marker on our map. So we're gonna go ahead and get it right now. Uh, I think this is, is is this Carmala. Let's see, is this? Uh, no, this is Wendier. Uh, there's a I no, I already know what this map marker is showing me. This is showing me the way to I believe Hack Dirt, which is an area that we're gonna have to go for side quest later on I'm probably gonna do that side quest fairly soon but not like so soon that I not like within a cup it's gonna be a couple of videos yet before we actually get to it because it's actually a fairly long a uh, large area and there's yet another one of those random oblivion gates which is just, uh, I'm amazed, because only has a, they only have a 25% chance of appearing, and I've been getting a lot of them to appear lately, which is pretty, I mean, ridiculous. And I still need to do that, um, get, do the quest, the, continue the main quest as well. I mean, 
there's just so much stuff to do in this game that it's pretty hard to decide what to do at a certain point in time. I mean, you pretty much just have to do one thing at a time. That's pretty much how the game's set up. Um, and it's pretty much set up in a way that you can do, it's open-ended, so you can do it any way you want. And that's sort of the way that I've been doing it, is any way you want. I've been sort of doing a little bit of this and a little bit of that in these in these last um, like 15, 20 videos, although around uh, episodes 59 to 67 were more focused around the actual skill of alchemy. And I apologize if those episodes were kind of boring, but to be perfectly honest with you, um, alchemy isn't a, actually a skill that is really like action-packed, energetic, or things like that. It's really not something that is really that is exciting. But here we got this Oblivion Gate, and this one uh, has a back on it, so... And now we are starting to find Daedroth, which are fairly strong at this point in the game. They, that white glow that you saw after I hit him means he has a shield on him. They, all, I think almost all Daedroth have a shield on them, so you pretty much want to watch out for that. And my blunt skill increased, which is good. But they, they always check Daedroth because they always drop good amounts of um, potion, well not potions, but good amounts of ingredients and stuff like that. Now to get away from this gate, uh, Oblivion Gate because you don't want to be anywhere near it right now because there's really not much that you want to do in there right now unless you want to go ahead and close it but we're going to be start I'm going to be starting to close those gates fairly soon in fact probably going to start after I get I'm thinking about starting uh, a whole series of videos um after I get the through the part of the main quest that allows up to 50 to of them to be open at time and raises a chance of finding them in a particular cell up to 50%. That's probably when I'm going to start doing, um, and once I get full Daedric armor and the Daedric, um, shield and Daedric longsword. So it's going to be a while before we get to do those, but I'm actually am going to be going through every single gate in this, in this LP. And I'm going to be doing most of them in a series of videos. And I know that might seem like, oh, I shouldn't do that because it's going to be so boring watching you do uh, Oblivion Gates. But trust me, it's going to be a lot of action. It's going to be action-packed. Commentary is going to be fun. And you're going to, I really think you're going to enjoy that series of videos. There's going to be a lot. That's That video series is going to be fairly long because just because of the total amount of Oblivion Gates that there are. There's going to be 50 total. Um, 49 of them are the random gates, and what the one of one of them is part of the main quest later on. So just don't don't worry about that one, but worry about all of the other ones. And some of them actually won't be open to us at this point in time. There's Fort Karmala because we haven't progressed far enough in the main. Quest, but after we go through the current quest we're on, which is to um, go, uh, what is it again? We have to go to. Uh, I also have to do that. I have no idea where Maeva is, so I'm gonna have to look that up. But where is it? Adventures, lifting the veil. Lifting the veil is another side quest that's very long. Path of Dawn, Baros, and at Luther Broad's boarding house. So I think that's something that we should do fairly soon, like maybe next video. So I'm gonna go ahead, and in the next video, we are gonna go ahead and start this quest, the Path of Dawn. So until next time, this has been Razor Flame Coon, and may all of your days.